A guy came in with a couple lithographs that could have been made by the Vincent Van Gogh. There are not a lot of original Van Gogh lithographs out there. So we're headed down to Art Encounter to get Brett's opinion. This is what I called you about. Woo, Van Gogh, huh? Maybe Van Gogh. All right. Well, let's see what we've got here. Vincent Van Gogh is arguably the most collectible and desired artist of all time. And I think what makes him so popular is he really bridged the gap from Impressionism to all the major art innovations of the 20th century. These scenes, they're, they're definitely identifiable as Van Gogh images. This one, he did it multiple times. He was just captivated by it because it actually reminded him of his homeland. It's got kind of a, a Dutch feel. This one probably would have been done uh, circa 1888. And this one, obviously more of a Parisian street scene. It looks like a lot of the same techniques and things, so I would say very close in proximity. This one probably would have been circa 1887. Now, obviously, with a name like Van Gogh, I'm sure you've got some concerns. <laughs> yeah. What intrigued me was, is they are old. Mm -hmm. They are lithography. Mm -hmm. And there's an embossing from what appears to be a French lithographer. Mm -hmm. So I'm throwing the dice. Sure. You know, prints that he was directly involved in the pulling of, those can be in the hundreds of thousands of dollars. But they're only about 10 or 11 prints that he ever did. So I want to take a closer look at these with your permission. Absolutely, okay. please. OK. You can tell that they're old. The paper looks good. But the emblem uh, scares me. It's almost certainly uh, a, a lithographer's stamp. Or another possibility is it could be from a museum. I think I know what these are. But when we are talking about artwork that potentially could be worth hundreds of thousands of dollars, it always is good to do a little research. So that's what I'd like to do. If you guys can hang out a little bit, I'd like to do a little legwork on them and then come back and I'll tell you exactly what they okay. are. Okay, cool. Thank Thank you. Yeah, we'll hang out. All right, thanks, guys. We'll Thank see you in a bit. Posthumous lithographs from Vincent Van Gogh are very prevalent. He's one of the most collected and revered artists of all time. So I'm just going to take a little time and just make sure that what I think is actually what they are. All right, I did a little legwork and they are definitely stone lithographs. They're well done. Obviously, the lithographer that did them did them with care. But these were done posthumously. And there's a number of things that were telltale signs. I immediately got nervous by the subject matter, because I know that these were originally done in watercolor. And nowadays, you get artists that do recreations of their works all the time. It's very common. Back in the 17th, 18th, 19th century, Lithography and etchings and things were media on which to create a new original. And then secondly, the emblem that you see here in the lower right-hand corners, I could not identify that symbol, and I'm not 100% sure if it's uh, a lithographer or if it references a, a museum. Because a lot of times what museums would do, since they couldn't sell the artwork that they exhibited on their walls, they would hire an esteemed lithographer to do prints or recreations of the works that were on the wall and then sell them through their museum gallery. OK. Are they worth anything? They are, but I, I think you'll probably be disappointed. And there's been a lot of recreations of Van Gogh's work. But I will say this, these are some of the better ones that I've seen. I'd put a value of around $500 for this one and maybe, you know, two, three hundred dollars on this one. <sighs> okay. Thanks, man. So are you interested in any kind of deal on these at all? <sighs> Not really. I don't think they're gonna sell well. I'm just I'm just being honest with you. No, oh, I understand. I understand. You know. But I thought there was an inkling of a chance we'd have something there. But there's nothing there. Um, OK? Well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'm getting back to work, man. All right, we'll see you. I don't think I've ever quite been that close to that much money and then had it all fall apart.